Gude and welcome to this technical walkthrough called Raspi Hello World. This video is part of my video series Raspi from A to M. And if you do not know what this series is about, I will put links with more information on that in the description box below. By the end of this video, you will be able to create a new intent with a simple phrase that will trigger that intent, create a Python or shell script for intent handling. And after your personal intent has been handled, it will return a text that will be read by Raspi's text to speech service. That's it and now let's go. Gude. Hacky tacky nerd stuff. Open voice enthusiast. Open voice, open future. Let's start by taking a look to the MQTT broker configuration because under the hood, Raspi is using MQTT to talk to each of Raspi's services. By default, Raspi brings with its own MQTT broker. But if you already use MQTT components or would like to use your own MQTT broker, such as Mosquito or any other MQTT broker software, you can configure an external MQTT broker that will be used for Raspi communication. So for that, let's click on the MQTT service and as in my case, I've set it to external and configured host, port and credentials for my MQTT broker or MQTT bus. As you can see on the right side of the window, there is a tool called MQTT Explorer, which is a really great tool available for multiple operating systems if you would like to go deeper in MQTT communication. Big shout out to Thomas Nordquist for providing MQTT Explorer. Let's connect to our MQTT broker. As you can see, there is no Raspi specific queues at the moment. To create a new intent, let's go to our sentences and create a new intent with that brackets called create file. This intent should be triggered by a static and simple phrase such as create file. Really creative, Thorsten. I'm really impressed. But it will do the job. Save the sentences and retrain Raspi. Give this phrase a try. Create file and hit recognize. As you can see, our intent create file has been recognized and we can take a look to the JSON intent name create file. And if we take a look to the MQTT Explorer, we can now see that there are queues related to Raspi natural language understanding and handling. But at the moment there is no intent handling, no script or logic that can handle this create file logic. For that let's enable our intent handling service. Choose local command. Configuration for local command is pretty straightforward. So we have just to enter a program. In my user home, I'm running a command Python script with no arguments. It's a good idea to click that documentation link. This will bring up the recipe's documentation. Here you can see examples of a shell script and a Python script. I've taken this example handle Python script as basis for the script I'm going to show you now. Save and restart recipe process and take a look to the terminal. I'm in my home directory and I've created a command python file which is mainly based on the Raspi documentation example. What's important is that Raspi posts that JSON from intent parsing process as standard input to the sub process like the shell or python script for further processing. And so here's some parsing. So we have that intent name parsed from the complete JSON and we can do some blocks depending on which intent we should handle. I've created a simple block for my create file intent which is doing a simple create file in my user home directory called raspi hello world txt and writes that JSON that comes from raspi process in that file, close it and return a text file has been created for text-to-speech process in Raspi. And I know this code is not best practice. There is no error or exception handling. Let's close the script. And as you can see, there's no text file written at the moment. So let's go back in Raspi's main page 
and create the text create file and that's one important note if you do not click that handle checkbox intent handling process will not be called so let's skip this and click recognize you can see the intent has been found you can see the json everything looking normal but if we take a look to our terminal list so no text file written if i click the checkbox handle and click recognize again so no obvious difference let's check the terminal again and now we can see raspy hello world txt with that json content so please do yourself a favor and do not miss to click the checkbox handle but what about the text to speech output so i did not hear anything at the moment but let's take a look to our mqtt explorer and we can see in addition to the queues we have seen previously there is a tts queue and so we can see a say entry called file has been created so this is the text that will be returned by our python or shell script but if you would like to hear anything we should configure text to speech so let's click in the configuration text to speech i'm going to choose nano tts which is the recommended service So now nano TTS is configured and enabled as text to speech service. And in addition, we have to enable the sounds service. Choose the recommended A play and restart. Raspy process. And now we can see we have that nano, nano TTS service and A play for the playback. We can just check if text-to-speech is running in general. So by hitting this text-to-speech, hello world, click speak. Hello world. Not the best quality, but in general, text-to-speech is working. Let's go back to the terminal. Let's remove our raspy hello world text file. So no text file here and Let's run the create file once again without having the checkbox marked. Recognize nothing should happen exactly. And now let's create a file with the handle checkbox. And if things go right, the text file should be created and we should hear the artificial phrase the file has been created. So let's give it a try file has been created so this works as expected the file is here and we can see in the mqtt communication we have that tts say and say finished audio server entries but as i've mentioned previously if you are interested in the under the hood mqtt communication of raspi please check out its excellent documentation if you like the video please give it a thumb up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with other voice enthusiasts. And that's it for now. I wish you all a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.